Okay, so here's the question. Why do you hunt old males? The problem that hunters and hunting have, and it's not really a problem, but it is a perception, is that old males tend to have the biggest horns, the biggest antlers, the biggest bodies. And it's an expression of maturity. It's actually an expression of the health of an ecosystem. And that's why the Boone and Crockett was created, the Boone and Crockett Club was created, and the point system tied to big antlers, big horns was created to test the maturation, the health of an ecosystem that is reflected in the health and maturity of the animals, specifically mature males. If you really dug into the question, why do you take old males? It is rooted in biology and the fact that by taking that cohort of a population, you are essentially affecting a negligible change in the overall population growth rate. So at its core, the taking of old males is tied to biology and reproduction versus the pure selfish motivation to just kill big trophies. Okay, so let me ask you a very simple question. What is the most valuable cohort in a population if you were interested in increasing that population over time? The answer is very simple, females. Females are the reproductive engine of any population. In the United States in the early 1900s, the value system had to change away from a pure supply and demand of meat and product, i.e. fur, to away from females to more male-centric, mature male-centric valuation. When that shift occurred, females became the most prized possession in the population. Okay, so now, what is the next most important cohort in a population? It's the breeding males. It's the males that are in the prime of their condition that are able to service and breed with as many females as possible. So let's take it to step three. What is the next most valuable cohort in a population if you are going to increase it and sustain it? It's the juveniles, it's the youngsters that you want to protect so that they can grow into breeding males and breeding females. So what does that leave? That leaves a cohort of individuals that if you decided to take those animals out of the population, they would have a negligible effect on population growth, in some places a positive effect on population growth. Wouldn't you want to target that cohort? That cohort is your old mature male cohort. That old mature male cohort are males that have moved out of the dominant breeding male cohort and now are essentially living on the periphery of any reproductive dominance that exists in the ecosystem. Look, let's be honest, just like humans, just like any animals, if those males are given the opportunity to breed, they will absolutely breed. But they are not the dominant breeders in the population any longer. So if you're gonna grow and sustain a population of wildlife over time and you're gonna use hunting as a management tool to reach that goal, Old, mature males are the cohort that you would target. That's the answer.